What's going on guys? It's T.S. Hink and I think I said T.S. Hink. It's T.E.S. It's kind of hard to say when you're talking fast. Um, T.S. 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 It's Tess Hink and uh, bringing you another Adobe After Effects tutorial. This one is going to be on a masking transition thingy. Um, let me show you an example real quick. This is an unreleased montage so I can't show you too much but I will show you two examples. Here is example number one. As you can see, they kind of come in with a bit of perspective on it. They kind of like spring up, I guess. Alright, and then the next example is right hizzy. Alright, and as you can see on this one, there's no like depth to it or anything. It's just kind of a bunch of trees swinging into place along with the gun. And yeah. Alright, so let's go ahead and hop on into After Effects. This is not the final render, by the way, because. Uh, oh, fuck. Didn't know that happen. But uh, as you can see, I forgot to. Oh, if I can go back to it. Okay, like I forgot to motion blur the gun in the bottom half of this tree because I'm stupid. Anyway, After Effects. Um, I'm actually not using a mouse today. Uh, I've had this Wacom bamboo pen tablet for a while now. Uh, that's actually what I used to do. Um, I did my band's logo with it. I, uh, I did that elephant uh, progression painting thing, which I have done more of. Um, and I do have it filmed, but it's not done because I'm lazy and I don't want to just like randomly upload it if I know I'm not going to finish it anyway. Um, but yeah, I recently saw a um, Acres video where he did a review on his and he had a much bigger one than I have. Wink, that's what she said. And um, but yeah, he pretty much just replaced his mouse with his completely and I never really thought of that probably because I'm stupid. So I decided to try it. I kind of like it. Um, there's a lot more stuff you can do with this than you can with just a normal mouse, but it's also a little more complicated to do simple things. Just like click. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's go ahead and import. I'm going to do the exact same clip um, with the trees and stuff. And I'm zooming way the fuck in. Alright, so let's take a look. First thing I want to mask out because I'm weird, is going to be this uh, this planner. And then I'm going to do the gun separately and this planner separately. Um, but the thing is with this clip is, see, at this frame, the gun's fine, but I can't see all of this planner. And this tree is like, way the fuck, not correct. So let's back up. See, right here, we can see all of the planner. So let's go ahead and, or almost all of the planner. We, we can see enough of it. So let's go ahead and... Duplicate, again, mute them, let's hide that bottom one, and we're going to right click this, and freeze frame. Alright, so you're going to mask this out, and as usual, I'm going to do a really shitty job on this, whereas you should get close and try and do a good job. But I don't have fucking time for that shit. Digger, digger, digger. Oh wow, that's incorrect. Alright, and good enough for that. So let's go ahead and feather this. Uh, the process, the starting off process for this is uh, really, really similar to uh, the depth of field tutorial I did. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that. That is fugly. Anyways, um, <laughs> alright, so let's find a keyframe that we want to start on, uh, preferably right before he starts shooting at everything. So right here seems fine, so let's go ahead and duplicate. 
and we can hide this bottom layer. Didn't mean to do that. And then we're going to time, freeze frame, and mask out this gun. And really shitty mask. Oh wow, that's too shitty. Even for my tastes. Anyways. Wow. I'm not very accurate with this pen thing, am I? Alright, we're also going to get this middle middle piece out of there. We'll do that in a minute. First, let's just do a really shitty job masking this out. Except for you. You do a good job. And I will not. Alright, so let's go. That's not it. Shaboom. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna get this fucking Poseidon trident crazy shit. Fuck you. Okay. Make sure you leave that in there. And looks absolutely terrible just the way I like it. Alright, subtract, don't tap M. You go with two, negative one, and we'll just go with one and one. Ew. <laughs> 0.5. That looks absolutely terrible, which means it's perfect. Alright, so next up we want to get this planner over here. Let's try and find a spot where we can see most of it uh, without the gun being too much in the way. Right here's fine. So duplicate time freeze frame and get to masking motherfucker. Uh, look how look how lead I am at my masking. I am to pest in the world. Oh, sexy mask. Sexy fucking mask. Oops. Alright. So let's go to... Um... Wait. Alright, let's go to this frame. And we are going to let's bring this to the tizop. Hit P. And we're going to actually first we need to right click on this bottom one. And enable time remapping. Keyframe and delete that one. Okay. So we're going to make this just kind of just kind of swoop into position. So we're going to keyframe it right here. Uh, and the very next frame is where everything starts moving. So as you can see, that's exactly where we need it. So let's just go back about a second and slide this maybe up here, give it a curve, and then go here, scale, rotate, hit U. And we can probably scale this up, rotate it this way, maybe move it up here. So that way it kind of comes in like shoo. Whoop. All right, that looks pretty decent. So we're going to highlight all those, right click, easy ease in. And then as soon as it hits there, we can cut it off. All right, so next one is this. And this one goes way back here. So let's go ahead and scale it and place it correctly, or at least attempt to. Actually, I think the scale on it's pretty much fine. Yeah, scale's fine. So go ahead and hit position, rotate, scale. Now you can hit U. And now we can, oops, did not mean for that to happen, come back. 
Baby, come back. <laughs> and, uh, all right, so let's zoom out. Go. Let's see, where does this one start? That one starts here. So we'll start this one a little bit beforehand. And this can come from down here. I don't know. Actually, I do know for a fact that I don't really want to rotate this. So do that. And then scale it up like a motherfucker. And then boom. And do the same thing. Highlight. Right click. Easy ease in. And shaboom. All right, so now for this last bit, this one we're gonna have to scale up quite a bit. Let's put this on top of that one. Okay, by quite a bit, I mean a lot of it. And get in there, just get it close. It doesn't have to be perfect, really. Um. Good enough for me. Oops. Alright, so scale, position, and let's go right here. Let's simply drag this down. We can have it come from its normal size. So you can hit 100, and blam! Now it kind of pops up like that. Look how cool that is. That looks like butt. All right, so what we're going to do is come here, and we're going to turn the opacity, bam, bam. So just kind of shoo whoop. All right, um, let's go ahead and turn the motion blur on these layers. Didn't mean to do whatever I just did. So that way they blur as they move. As you can see. All right. So now what I did is I just added brightness and contrast. Um, where are you at? Add a brightness and contrast to this. I made it. Hold on, you drag these out a little bit, just a little bit, and the brightness up a lot. Contrast up a bit, and so now we get probably drag those back. Just a tiny bit. So it's like, wah, boom, look at that. But yeah, so once you, uh, if you do your masks better, then you could probably fade these out as that's fading in. If you want, you ain't gotta. So it's like, whoosh, kind of flashes into place, looks pretty decent. And you know you can sync up, sync up your uh, bullets or don't. Uh, add some color correction, some real smart motion blur, make it look super sexy. Anyways, that is how you do the uh, the masking transition um, using this process. Uh, you can do the same way the way I had it with the depth. Um, do it the the exact same process. The only difference would be. Uh, is you would be cutting out like certain parts, like just halfway in the wall, it would just be random objects. Um, it's a little more complicated. I might possibly do a more advanced tutorial on this in the future, though honestly, I doubt it. Um, anyway, I did record about three more commentaries the other day. I'm gonna be posting this one first, and then the other one sporadically, uh, probably once a week. Um, so yeah, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. Uh, the next tutorial is on, actually, holy shit, I don't know what it's on. I think it's on uh, advanced color correction. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to upload that one because it was shitty. 
Um, <laughs> so the next one is going to be on audio, making your gunshot, making your gunshot sound a little thicker, a little chunkier, and uh, basically just making it sound all around better for your montage. Anyways, it's been T.S. Hink, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.